Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today we've got another college basketball slate we're going to be going over. We got three plays we're looking at for today. But before we get into the video, before we get into the recap of yesterday, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. You can also follow us on our social medias at Bets Earl on Twitter, at Earl Sports Bets on Instagram. And we have a Discord chat as well if you want to join that. To link. The link to that will be in the description of the video down below. And as always, leave your best bets for college basketball in the comment section below. All right, quick recap of yesterday. It didn't go as well as we were hoping. Uh, Alabama A&M barely comes up short. Uh, they were covering for a decent chunk of that game. Or no, they weren't. They were coming back. And they, they almost came back and covered that spread. But uh, they fell just a, a meaningless three short, basically. Uh, and they do not cover that spread. Arizona, they looked decent in the first half. And then it, the, the wheels came off the, the bus for the second half. They didn't look good at all. Uh, Oregon just showed that they were, they were the more dominant team. And that happens. And then our only cash of the night was Arc Pine Bluff, who almost pulled off an upset at plus 465. Uh, they were 8.5, eventually went to 11-point favorites. So it, this line went from, I think, 8 to 8.5 all the way up to 11, 11.5, 10.5, 11 11.5. And, half, 11 and uh, all that money uh, cashed. Uh, all the Arc Pine Bluff money uh, cashed. That was nice last night. Uh, as they lose in overtime by 6 points, but... They still cash the bet. So we are one we went one and two yesterday. 254, 243, and 551.1% in college basketball this season. We're hoping to get that up a little bit more. Uh for March Madness starting in 12 days on on selection Sunday. I will have a bracket video uh going over my my predictions for the bracket and everything like that. So but let's get into today's video. Why don't we? We have three plays we're gonna be going over. And we're starting with a matchup here in the Big East. We are going with Xavier versus Georgetown. Two-point spread, minus 134 for Xavier, plus 114 for G-Town. And looking at this matchup, Xavier coming in 13-5, and 6-5 and five in the Big East. They are off of a very nice win versus number 13, Creighton. And then Georgetown coming in 8-11, uh, 6-8 and, 11, six and eight in the Big East, coming off of a win versus DePaul. And we're just going to be going with the team that I think is just the overall better team in this matchup. The team that actually, like, you know, has a shot at making the bracket and is playing well. It's, it's the Xavier team. This Georgetown team has proved they're very inconsistent this year. And I, I just want to go with uh, Xavier here. Minus two, I think they cover it pretty easily. My model has this as an eight and a half point game. So give me Xavier minus two versus Georgetown. Next, we head to a matchup in the Horizon League for the quarterfinal matchup between Youngston State and Oakland. It is a three-point spread, minus 152 for Oakland, plus 132 for Youngston State. And Youngston State coming in 15 and 11, 10 and 11 uh, in conference play this year, coming on back-to-back -back wins versus IUPUI, and then they beat UIC in the first round. Uh, Oakland coming in. Uh, 10 and 17, 10 and 10 in conference play. Uh, they lost their last regular season game versus Milwaukee, but they had a first round bye in the Horizon League. So uh, they're going to be playing their first game here against Youngston State. So uh, we're going to be going with the dog here, though. Uh, we're going to be, uh, where is it? There, uh, uh, there it is. We're going to be going with Youngston State here, plus three, and that plus the 132 price tag. I think they can get it done here. I think they're the better overall team and getting a nice plus tag for them is really nice My model has them winning by four points So we're getting very nice value here on both the money line plus 132 and that plus one three spread All right heading to our final game of the night. We have Kentucky taking on Ole Miss Two and a half point spread minus 140 for Ole Miss plus 120 for Kentucky and I really like the dog in this matchup once again uh, Kentucky coming in eight and fourteen though, seven and eight in the SEC, coming off of a loss versus Florida. Ole Miss, thirteen and ten, eight and eight in the SEC, coming off of a loss versus Vandy. 
But I think this Kentucky team can uh, turn things around here tonight and get the win. Uh, I don't think Old Miss is really that great of a team. So we're going to be going with the Wildcats here, plus 2.5 and, and plus 120 versus Old Miss tonight. All right, quick little recap of our plays. Then we're going to head on out for tonight. We have Xavier minus two versus Georgetown. We have Youngston State plus 132 and the plus three uh, versus Oakland. And we're taking Kentucky plus two and a half and the plus 120 line versus Mississippi Ole Miss. If this video is helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel below if you haven't already. And uh, that's going to just about do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. And let's catch some bets. Let's make some money in college basketball tonight. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.